Hello and welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So today I want to talk about the Reaper arc. And as the Reaper arc is basically going to end in episode 9, I don't see it going to episode 10, I want to talk about how it failed and how it's maybe one of the worst arcs they've done on the show. And the worst bit is this arc, the Reaper arc, is the only part of the show which the writers were like, hey, let's make up one of our own villains and not go to the source material. And it's sad that the only time they decided to be like, okay, we're going to make a new villain for the show exclusive, they failed. Okay, so I want to talk about why I think they failed. So, the first thing that I think made the arc bad is that the arc, you had the Reaper arc, and then you had the Commonwealth arc being set up and being stretched out throughout the Reaper arc. And I feel like... That really was a detriment to this arc because people weren't invested in the Reaper arc. They didn't care about the Reaper arc. You cared about the Commonwealth arc that's been stretched out through the entirety of the Reaper arc. Okay? Like, it sucks. Even the Whisper arc was affected slightly by the Commonwealth arc being introduced way back at the end of Season 9 and kind of being like hinted at throughout all of Season 10. And then we get to this, oh, it's the final season, we're going to get the Commonwealth arc. No, the Reaper arc, like, kind of jumps in for these first nine episodes, and it just kind of, no one cares about the Reaper arc, and this Commonwealth arc, which is the big arc, kind of overshadows and puts the Reaper arc in its shadow and kind of ruins it, in my opinion, because it makes no one care about it. The second thing that I think hurts and made the Reaper arc failed is that the Reaper arc feels very disjointed, and they don't seem like a villain to everyone. The reason why it failed, from my opinion, is that the Reaper Rock was only a villain to Maggie and Maggie's people. Like, look at it, okay? Does Pope meet anyone other than Daryl? No. Okay, the main villain of the arc gets none, no screen time with any of the main characters other than Daryl. This main villain is meant to have this massive, like battle and hates Maggie but they never get to meet and Karen's you want to meet him he doesn't and he just kind of dies off from his own lackeys that doesn't help having the main villain just kind of killed off and the main villain doesn't even get to meet the person that he wants to kill it's really it's really bad if you don't like have the main villain and heroes meet at all and then have the main villain die for no reason and it's just kind of sucky and then you have the people all the way back in Alexandria doing nothing because the Reapers aren't a threat to them. And just how the Reaper are going to be these big, big bads. But however, all they are a villain to is Maggie. And Maggie's just going around getting people killed. The pacing also made it fail in my opinion. This nine episode arc, even though it's such a short time, it feels so much longer because the pacing is so long. It's so drawn out. It's so slow. It's just a lot of talking and not much entertainment. It's just the Reapers had a bit of in episode two, where in episode three, where they killed off no names. And then they kind of disappeared and just kind of hid behind their walls into episode seven and eight. That's all the Reapers did. And these are meant to be the big villains. They didn't do much. They just kind of stood there. And the pacing was just like... It didn't help that half of the episodes were for the Commonwealth. So with this kind of intertween and trying to juggle two arcs at once. Kind of ruined the pacing of the Reaper arc. And when it came to the end of the Reaper arc. It felt like things were just suddenly wrapping up out of nowhere. It was like what? I felt like we had where we were. It was like we could have maybe another couple of episodes. To suddenly... Oh wait the main villain's dead. Wait, we're about to end it now. It's just like from 0 to 100 in speed to get in this arc over. The writing of this arc is not very good. Okay, we get given told one thing, but we never get shown it. Like, we get told the Reapers are super deadly. You should never mess with them. If you get in fights with them, you lose. Okay, episode 2 was like, oh, we might show it. And then episode 3, we see a bit. But after that, we get shown nothing. They just kind of be like, oh, they just kind of die like that. And they kind of get killed off without being able to kill anyone. The conflict. Okay, these are meant to be the big villains, but they never wrote any conflict into the story. The Reapers kind of just stayed in Meridian after episode 3 and just kind of went out look for Maggie and Maggie just kind of hid from them. That was the story that they decided to tell, which is kind of bad. Imagine if Negan did that for like two seasons. Like, look for Rick and Rick was just hiding in the woods. That would be boring, 
okay? There's very little conflict here in a show that's all about conflict between humans in an apocalypse. And we get told one thing about the Reapers, and we see another thing, which really sucks. Imagine being told, oh, Negan's a bad guy, he kills all the people. He walks out of that trailer and he gives tickles to people. He doesn't kill anyone, he kills like, he goes, oh, I missed! Just kills a random no-name that was like sitting next to Carl or something. No one would care, okay? Like, why are we being told they're evil and they can kill these people, but they can't kill a single one of the main cast? That is so bad, and it ruins the arc for me. These are meant to be the big main bads, and they haven't killed a single team player. They haven't killed a single main character. And that is my video. What do you think? Do you agree that the Reaper arc is the worst arc they've had on The Walking Dead ever? Do you think that it was a complete failure in writing? It was a failure in storytelling. It was just a bad way to start off Season 11. What do you think about the arc? Because I really didn't like it. Even though it's not over yet, but we know there's one episode left. And I don't think they can fix it with one episode. But what do you think? Please tell me down below. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. So look on the screen if you want more Walking Dead content. I'll guarantee you'll find something else. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. So goodbye. Peace out. See you tomorrow.